morning. Um, I have crazy hair and a tash and I'm brewing beer. It is day 317 of the big vlog and I'm going to take you through a little few things of brewing some beer and then later on the, the fire festival. So enjoy! Crusader! Okay, here we have the cans of the stuff. The water is going to go into the fermenting bin and then we're going to just start making some beer. It's going to get really messy so we've got that on there for the tins, the top of the tins. Let's get started. Here we go, opening the cans. Oh, the stuff is really not working. Oh, can you see how sticky it is? It never ceases to amaze me. If only you could smell this. It's beautiful. This is the, the fun part of brewing, where you just hold things for minutes. It still feel, feels like there's quite a lot in there. But it's not coming out very quickly. Okay, I just want to take you through some of the uh, brewing instructions for this, uh, this kit. Okay, so we've got the, uh, the malt extract and the brewing yeast. It tells you what things you need and then uh, how to store and serve it, blah 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 but the actual instructions to how to brew get ridiculous, okay? So okay, okay. the preparation is pretty standard sanitise everything uh, anything that comes into contact with the ingredients, rinse everything thoroughly but then making the kit, right here we have to, where does it say, where does it say, where does it say? Wipe the tins over sanitising solution and stand in hot for 10 minutes helps soften the sticky malt extract, fine after 10 minutes, remove the tins and dry them. Open the tins with a sanitised tin opener. Seems a bit excessive to me. But then, this is all the instructions on, on what to do on two sides of A4. Which is a lot more than we had to do last time. But never mind, it's fun, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Instructions. Sexy! Okay, so excuse the kettle boiling, but it's very important because now we need to uh, put in some hot water to bring up the temperature because at the moment this is 30 pints of uh, cold water and you can see it's fairly full up it's got a nice beer looking colour which is nice and basically from that we're going to bring up the temperature to about 20 degrees and so then it can start fermenting properly but it even looks like a big beer right now doesn't it? doesn't it? mmm beer mmm yeast Ooh. Yeast. Little yeast cells are gonna make it good. That, my friends, is what makes alcohol. Okay, beer. You make me proud now. Now, we've talked about ale, but here's the first batch of wine, and it's actually looking a bit more like wine. It's cool, it's still got, it's still got sediment at the bottom, so we need to do something to clear it up, but I'll tell you what, I've had a sniff, it smells like wine, and it seems to have gone the not right sort of colour, really, which is very impressive. It's a complete experiment, but it's working well, so yeah! And that, my friends, is brewing. You are the snared and you have been. See you tomorrow.